I take it you have concerns. I can think of a few. You're only escalating matters. You expect us to believe you're going to fight your own children? I can't deny my responsibility for what Valen and Arkin have become. I have to end their bloodshed. What did you see in Valkorion that you had children with him? You say he was a homicidal tyrant, but that isn't the man I knew. He was benevolent, wise, even kind. At least at first. We never agreed on how the children should be raised, and over time he became more and more distant. More cold. I was afraid for what the children would become. But when I decided to leave, they chose him. I couldn't force them. You've been lying to us all this time. Now you give us this woe is me story, and we're supposed to take your word for it? You don't have to take my word. You can ask the Immortal Emperor himself. I am not him. I am myself. When Valkorion was in charge, he wasn't fixated on waging war. If we can get him back on the throne... Valkorion is a world devourer. He brought direction and stability to Zakul. Trust me, Koth, you don't know him like I do. No. You don't know him like I do. Neither of you know him like I do. Try sharing a little less. That... that isn't what I meant. Interruption. The Republic Astromech has established contact. T7, what does he have for us? Report. A criminal meatbag on Zakul has been in search of the gravestone. This Lady of Sorrows alleges she can establish a dialogue with its computers. Lady of Sorrows? Good luck with her. I take it she's trouble. She's an information broker. Acts as her own enforcer. Never apprehended. So yes, trouble. She operates in Zakul's old world district. I know it better than anyone. I'll escort you. Back to Zakul? Right onto Arkin and Valen's front door? I don't think they'll expect to find us there. Do you? It's worth a try, this Lady of Sorrows. But I'd like a word before you leave. Who thought the Lady of Sorrows would be the key to figuring you out? Destiny calls. Now that the truth is out about Valkorion, there's a shortage of trust. I need you to find it within yourself to try. Not an easy task. Koth believes in Valkorion. Senya withheld vital information. Neither one trusts the other. That's why you must act as an example. You really think they're trustworthy? I'm too much of a realist for absolute trust. Especially after Zyost, but I know their intentions are sound. May the Force serve you well out there. Headed back into the heart of Arkan's empire, and you're singing. What better time? Anyway, where we're going, no one will be looking for criminals. Most of the people there are criminals, which of course presents its own dangers. And so, I do enjoy visiting the old world. It's a piece of Zakul history. Valkorion's first attempt at creating a grand society. A failed attempt. Only in scale. To him, it wasn't nearly grand enough. I want to know more about your relationship with Valkorion. The story really isn't as outlandish as whatever you're imagining. We met after I earned a place in his elite guard. I never hesitated to speak my mind, which caught his attention, I suppose. He was fascinating bold always completely certain of his next step the way you describe him 
I can't blame you for taking an interest. You also have to understand his place in our culture, our psychology, our entire conception of ourselves. He guided Zakul's prosperity for generations, centuries. What we had wasn't a child's notion of romance, but we were happy. Then Arkin and his brother Saxon were born. I loved them so much. But no matter what I did, they wanted nothing to do with me. And Valkorion wanted nothing to do with them. His mind was somewhere else. He barely spoke. Barely acknowledged any of us for weeks at a time. And then... Valen. Valen was troubled from the start. Was she really dangerous, even as a child? She made furniture move while she was still in the womb. Tore droids apart as a toddler. Once a guard dropped a ball she tossed, Valen crippled him. I confronted Valkorion. His daughter needed help. His sons needed him. His solution was to cage Valen's mind. Most of her power was locked away, along with most of who she was. He ignored the rest of us outright. I couldn't stand by and watch. I gathered the children. I tried to tell them we needed to go. They laughed and called me weak. Even as children, even with Valen's power restrained, the three of them together were still far more powerful than me. I couldn't force them to go. So, I left. Did Valkorion try to stop you from leaving? No. I'm not sure he even noticed. I transferred to the Knights Enforcement Division and took assignments at the outer fringes of our empire. Valkorion never spoke another word to me. Since then, I've only seen my children in broadcasts of public events, like Thexen's funeral, killed in the Core Worlds. I doubt they even remember me. Hello, little one. T7, what do you have for us? The Lady of Sorrows is wanted for murder and theft of state secrets, among other charges. The Knights have hunted her for years. No one's come close. I'm sure the three of us will manage if we work together. You may not believe this, but it's rare for someone to escape a knight's justice. And when that someone is the knight's own child? We'll find out, won't we? <sighs> Could I... Is it possible for me to talk to him? To Valkorion? I don't think it works that way, exactly. Lots of things live down here. Few of them friendly. We should be careful. This is the old world as most Zakulans know it. A place to mingle with the rabble and then go home to brag about it. One big party. I have a contact nearby. Need to go alone. Does this mean you're back to Ruthless Enforcer, Senya? Yes. I had always intended to visit the old world. I thought I would have the time. Delightful. You couldn't have mentioned Senya was the mother of your children? I wanted to see what she would do. In the end, she chose to place her trust in you. 
and your associates. She'll make a powerful ally. Intelligent, skilled, confident, and fearless. Oh, she does not give in. Priority call for High Justice Phelan. She'll want to know who I just spotted. If you can read me, I made some new friends. Could use a hand. I'm on my way. The heralds of Zodrog. Cultists longing for the return of a mythical serpent god. Used to be they were just a nuisance. Now they're militant. Good show! Absolutely wonderful! Are these people for real? Their lives are uneventful. No hardship. They come here to feel something. There you are. Sticking heralds on me, Reg? Not too bright. No, it wasn't me. The heralds run the old world now. They made a deal. With Arkin? What kind of deal? Heralds keep crying down, and the knights keep back. You stick around, they'll blame it on me. You gotta go. Tell me where to find the Lady of Sorrows first. Some kind of joke, right? I'll take my lumps from the heralds over the Lady any day. And where do I fit on that list? What? <laughs> you know what I can do, Reg. Need another reminder? Senya, stop. This isn't the way to get answers. It's the only way they understand. Back off and let me do my job. Wait a minute, wait. I was gonna say you don't want to mess with the lady. Then I was gonna say, but hey, that's your prerogative. You've always been square with me. I'll be square with you. Don't gotta hit me. Where is she? I, I don't know. But, but I do know who to talk to. There's a data seller at Market Station. M Mona Gale. She works with the lady all the time. Mona Gale. All right. <coughs> Sorry. Let's go. Guess who I found? The Outlander? Right under our noses in the old world. Alone. Oh, no. That's the best bit. Mother is here, too. Shouldn't we go say hello? Why would they escape only to return? Let them do what they came here for. I'll see that they don't dawdle. <laughs> 